Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken's Training. Today's training, what we are going to do is going to be to recock a bathtub. So I'm going to show you the bathtub in a moment, but basically the bottom line is, is where the wall meets the tub, there is, the caulking has turned kind of brown, it's molding out it's white caulking and it just it doesn't look attractive anymore so in order to get that clean white appearance we need to remove the existing caulk and then clean it and then reapply new caulk and I'll show you all the steps involved the first thing I want to do is go over the tools needed for the job so the first tool you're going to need is and this will be in the process that you do it is this this tool here uh, this material which is called lift off uh, caulk and sold at the Home Depot for like five dollars in the uh, painting section so I'm going to spray this on the existing caulking now um, I didn't read the directions carefully here but you could leave it on for like an hour or so uh, I may just leave it on overnight because it's not going to harm to leave it on longer if you needed the bathtub back in service same day you could just put it on for a few minutes to soften it up and then go from there okay so first product lift off this is going to soften up the existing caulking once that once you're ready to then um, pull off the caulking you're going to want to use a couple of tools uh, I've got here one uh, utility knife just a regular uh, uh, thumb open uh, utility knife like that. I also have a scraper with a brand new blade on it right there and that there is to, to, to get nice and flat. This is good when you want to do for like cutting in uh, and so forth. And in case I don't want a putty knife I just want a scraper I just have a regular two inch putty knife in case I don't want to use a utility knife and I just want a putty knife I'll just I just have a two inch putty knife lap, kind of like this. It's kind of kind of a stiff bladed putty knife. Okay, once I cut out all of the existing caulking, then I need to clean it. I'm going to clean it with alcohol and some paper towels, just to let it dry up really nice and get it nice and clean. Once the uh, surface is nice and clean, I'm going to use some tape. This is just a uh, one inch uh, tape or three quarters of an inch, something like that, blue tape. And I'm just going to lay it down uh, before I put my bead of caulking down to get it in there uh, nice and tight. Once the tape is down, I'm just going to put on some uh, rubber gloves just so I can work kind of clean. And then I want to use my caulk to um, uh, apply the caulking, okay? Now, there's two different types of caulking on the market. The cheap stuff, the, first, the stuff that first uh, catches your eye is this tube here, which is in bright white. And here's the uh, labeling on it right there, uh, DAP and so forth. And this tube here, is an acrylic latex caulk and it is uh, it's cl it cleans up with water the bottom line is is that it's not a good waterproofer this is uh, four dollars at the Home Depot in the painting section but it is not the one that you want to use I just wanted to show you for illustration purposes again that one was four dollars this is the one or one of this quality you do want to use. This is a 100% pure silicone caulk and again sold at the Home Depot. I got the same uh, color is going to be white because that's the bathtub that I'm working in is white. And the reason this particular one was nine dollars. This was the most expensive one. The reason why I, I went with the most expensive one is because this one has a 10 year mold free product protection so it's supposedly not supposed to mold out for 10 years there was another um, can uh, container of a silicone here um, a tube of caulking uh, for silicone but it, uh, it was a uh, two dollars cheaper 
and but it only had a five-year warranty so I thought you know I gotta go through I'm gonna go through all this effort why not buy the best product and see if I it gives me the most longest lasting results if it if I can get a few more years out of it and it was you know an extra three dollars or two dollars for the tube that's fine so be it so anyways these are all the materials that you need oh and then to put the caulking on of course you need your handy dandy trusty uh, caulking gun so those are all the materials I'm going to show you the um, show you the bathtub and then we'll go from there all right so here is the bathtub and right there is the area of concern right where the wall meets the tub that is the caulking that I'm going to be removing so this is right here at the beginning of the job. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's nice bright white. That's what the whole thing is going to be looking like when I'm done. And then you see over here it gets a little more grungier. This probably isn't the worst one in the world. There's probably tubs out there that are much much worse than this but I just want to bring the life of this uh, the, this whole tub uh, is in very good condition. Actually outside of that so um, I want to bring this whole thing back up to 100% cleanliness standards. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this product on right here. Lift off, cock silicone uh, foam sealant remover, and I'm just going to apply this all on that. Okay, I've been letting the uh, the uh, cock remover sit on here for about one hour, and I'm going to get right to it right now and start scraping and I'll show you a little bit of the scraping process right now. Okay, I'm working solo here. No one's behind the camera, so I'm gonna, hopefully you're gonna pick this up. Uh, so basically, let's see here. I'm just using a very sharp utility knife, and I am just going to cut in here like this, and then cut down like this for my first pass here. Let's see if I can show you how much I'm just going to be taking away here. And I also got this here so I can make sure it cleans up really nice. Pretty much that's the process. I'm just going to keep going through the uh, all the way around the tub like this. Uh, just to get it nice and clean. It's not like I'm in a big hurry or anything. Just take my time and uh, get all that mold and mildew off and get it right down to the tub and the tile without damaging anything, just being careful. And then uh, and then I'll wipe everything down. So not exactly the most glamorous step, but that's that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so here's an update of where I am at. I have uh, gone around re removing as much as I can could uh, with the, the scraper and utility knife. So here's what it looks like from that perspective. Now I'm going through and doing a cleaning. So all the old cock's been removed. Now let me explain what I'm going to do here and I'll show you on this section right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a pair of safety glasses and I'm going to use an old toothbrush and I'm going to take some um, rubbing alcohol 90% Put some here in the cap, about that much, put this over here, then I'm going to take and scrub inside of the uh, hole here and everything where I want the caulking to attach to and I'm going to clean this and get this as clean as I can. So this way everything is just going to be as uh, tight a seal as possible here. So I'm just going to clean this up as best I can. 
take a clean paper towel, go through, wipe that down, and I'm going to go around the tub like this. So I'm just giving you an illustration here in this section, but basically I'm going around the whole tub with that, with what you just saw right there. Oh, and uh, one other thing that I should mention. That when you're doing this project, when I'm off camera, I got the radio on and I'm relaxed and, and I'm not stressed or anything like that. So you just want to put on some comfortable music when you do this job. I mean, um, you kind of, you're doing it alone anyway, so it's, uh, you just want to make yourself as comfortable as possible while you're doing your job. Uh, that way you uh, won't feel stressed or rushed and you'll have a better quality product uh, end result. That's a SOP, Standard Operating Procedure for me anyways. Alright, so anyways, um, that's what I'm going to do right now, and I'll show you the next step when I get to it. Okay, so here we are after cleaning with the, um, the alcohol. This is what the uh, grout gel looks like um, just before I go to put the, uh, the tape on. I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of detail about how it looks. It was fussy in the corners. Uh, and you can still see how dark that looks. I'm hoping when I'm done that with the caulking that's all going to look nice and just clean and white. So you're not going to see that contrast that you see right now. Alright, so I just wanted to give you an overview. So now the next step is for me to tape. And I'll give you an illustration over here when I do that. Okay, so here we go with the taping process. And... I'm going to put two rows of tape on here, one at the bottom and one on the tile. I'll start with the one here at the bottom. I don't want a big amount of distance, maybe about an eighth of an inch approximately between the corner and where the tape is. So I'm trying to judge this just right so I get that exactly where I want. Alright, that doesn't look bad right there. Right, it looks fine. And then kind of just go a little bit at a time here. Alright, and now I'm getting close to the corner. Alright. Let me just use a short little piece when I come back here like this approximately like that right. so that one is there That's, I can trim that out a little bit, I put a little extra on there by accident, let me just cut that there we go that will be a nice straight line. And now for the one at the top. Basically same thing, about an eighth of an inch or so is the distance that I'm looking for because I don't want a massive amount of caulking to be on this. Just enough to get a good seal and hopefully last, oh, if I can get it for five years, that'd be wonderful. If I could get it for ten years, that'd be great. Uh, let's just go shoot for five. We'll start with that. All right. All right. So basically, that's the process right there. I'm going to continue doing that the whole way through for the whole tub. So I'll go off camera right now, but I gave you an idea of what that is supposed to resemble how much distance there and so forth that you're trying to go trying to uh, to attain in order to do it all right and then of course I'll be a little fussy there in the corner there and so forth and I'll show you that when I'm done all right here you go the whole tape the whole tub is taped up around where I want to put my caulking this is basically what it looks like give you a little bit of um, detail in the corner there. So you see I tried to maintain the same equal spacing all the way through uh, when I when I do the um, the job. 
Now let me show you how to apply the caulking. Again, let's start over here in this corner here. Alright, uh, I'll give you about that tight of a, a show. And prepping the uh, the uh, the tube of caulking is very important. You want to make sure that you get it prepped po properly. Okay, so here's the uh, the caulking. I got my caulking gun. Pull the cap off. Now here I want not a very big uh, opening into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut like this. So I have a trash barrel right near me. All right, so here is the size of the tip that I created there. Now on some of these, including this one too, there's a there's a small tin foil shield in here that needs to be broken. By the way, I've already put on my gloves, so now that I'm getting ready to work with silicone, put the gloves on. So on the caulking gun itself, built in at the very tip here, is this um, metal rod. You just take that after you've cut your tip off and puncture that down and through and you're trying you're breaking that uh, small tin foil seal that's right in here that which keeps your uh, silicone nice and fresh. Oh by the way, always check your expiration dates when working with silicone. Uh, this one here is uh, used by uh, 415, so 2015 uh, April and this is 2014 so I have no problems with the expiration date on this silicone. You never want to use expired silicone. I used that once and had a, uh, it never set up, it never worked properly. So I had to remove it and then start over from scratch and you don't want to do that. So just don't even, just avoid that by working with nice silicone. Uh, by the way, this particular type of caulking gun is the, top, is the type that I like. It's the one that does not have the little ridges. It just has a smooth rod here and I like this one the best. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, put this here in my uh, caulking gun with the uh, tip going towards the joint. I'll start here in the corner and I'll, I'll pull my first run uh, along here. This will be a little bit of a headache for me. Let me see here. Uh, when I get to there, it's going to kind of mess up on me, so I'll have to bring it down underneath that. Okay, so uh, again, I'm going to not be... This is white caulking. I've already... Uh, the joint is nice and clean. Okay, here we go. And just about that much is what I'm going to do here. Now let me do this whole row to show you how to get this proper. Alright, once you get towards the end of where you want your uh, gun to shut off, hold on a second here, what you want to do is you want to relieve the pressure of the tube by depressing that right there. And then uh, I always have a, uh, when, I, when I have an open tube of uh, silicone or whatever caulking I got, I always have some paper towels, rags, whatever, right nearby so that it's easy for me to, uh, you know, hold on to that. All right, and then what I'll even do is when I lay it down on the ground, I'll lay it down with the two with a paper towel directly under it, so that if it does ooze out, it oozes out not on the ground but on the paper towel. So I'm just going to set this aside. I have a whole roll of paper towels right near me, so this way I have them available. Now, this joint looks terrible. Okay, this is not an attractive joint. So what I'm going to do is just take my finger. And I'm just going to rub that in along there, smooth that out. Now, the silicone that I'm working with here is n not acrylic latex, but it's 100% pure silicone, meaning that it is not water cleanup. The one that's uh, acrylic latex, that particular one is water cleanup. So this one you cannot use water for the cleanup. They say you to use mineral spirits. Now, basically what I'm going to do, that's very close to being the the final product, but I still, I want to pull off my um, tape. I like to pull my tape off while it's still wet 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue doing the rest of the tub and then I'm going to come back here, pull the tape off, see how it looks and if I need to just touch it one more time, I'll touch it one more time very gently and then I'll let it set up overnight and then that's the final product right there. Okay, this went fairly quickly. only took me about five minutes or so. And that's all done with the caulking all the way around. All right, now what I want to do, it's only just been a few minutes and it feels like it's already starting to set up. I actually want to pull out my, um, my tape right now. So what I'm going to do, I've got a trash can right near me, right over to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very gently pull this out like this. And see it leaves that little gap there. I want to smooth that with my finger so this way it uh, comes out as smooth as possible. <clears throat> the tape gives you the best looking job. That's why we use the tape. Alright, right here I'm getting a little... Okay, right there. Alright. Okay. Follow that. Now, the bottom one is off. Now I'm going to pull off the top one. the top comes off with a very clean finger here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it I'm just going to try to push it all the way through with one clean swoop to get it nice and smooth and adhere really nicely that is the final product right there and I'm just going to follow that through and do the rest of the tub all right show you this section over here Just the corners, I'm a little unhappy about the corner right here. I'm just going to try to clean that up a little bit. It's not bad, but I'm just trying to get that a little bit better. It looks a little short on cocking is what it looks. Uh, everything else I'm pretty happy with. Alright, so that's just about it. Here's your final product, showing you nice and detailed what that looks like. There's that corner right there. And moving through the tub. I mean, it kind of, this looks a lot better than before. Much, 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 much better than before. It's a nice, bright white, no mildew. Uh, seal. I'm pretty much happy with everything except for this corner right here. I want to put a little bit more on that corner but I don't want to go too crazy so let me show you how I'm going to do that. Alright so with the camera focused right there I'm just going to take my tube of 
caulking, I put the cap on it, pull the cap off. Put that aside for a second. And with just a small amount of uh, silicone, uh, here we go. I'm just going to put a small amount of silicone right there. And then I'll come back the other way. And do that too. Right, relief that release that pressure. Let me put that down. Grab a paper towel real quick. Alright, here we go. And let me see if I can't get that just a little bit better. Right there. Alright, that's not bad. Alright, I can live with that. Alright, like that. That looks pretty good. Alright. I don't want to keep fussing with it. Because it'll pro it might cause more damage than I want to. Okay, so let me give you a little zoom in on that. Oops. Go the other way. And so there's that final product right there. Okay, that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And uh, you can go ahead and tackle your own tub right now. And uh, you know exactly how to do it. And I think the results came out pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with the results. If you did like the video, please click on like. Just give me some extra likes. I have a channel with other videos, training videos, if you want to check that out. My YouTube channel is Ken Training. And, uh, and that's it. And uh, I'll see you later.